Well, hello everybody. This is uh, Steve Zutz coming to you today from the corporate office of Country Visions here at Reedsville. So I wanted to address everybody in a different form of communication today. Rather than just write notes and newsletters, I thought I'd talk to you um, in this recorded video. So with the way everything's going in the world today, we maybe have more of that going on in the future, eliminating meetings. So we're going to give this a try. And for me, it's the first time, kind of a little bit different, talking with just in front of a camera, but we'll see how it goes. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Country Vision's response to the COVID-19 situation. So the first thing I understand, everybody has a lot of stress in their whole life today, whether it's stress at home, kids at home, caring for parents, other members of your family, that's all different, which brings on stress. Then at work here, we've got all these new rules. We're all doing things different, yet we're trying to gear up for a busy springtime season. So I understand that, appreciate the stress, and we'll try to do the best we can as we move through this difficult time. So first of all, thanks to everybody for keeping our co-op running. Um, we're trying the best we can to make our situation move forward. Um, spring's coming, our customers are gonna need it, so I appreciate everything you're doing. So what are we doing? Get lots of questions all the time. What should we do? A lot of times I talk with Judy and we start writing up a newsletter. We get halfway through it and the rules change on the game two, three times a day. So I, I, I don't have time to talk about everything that we're doing at the co-op, but just a couple things we should all think about at our sites. What can we do better? What, where can we go with this? So if you need all the details, we have them posted around the co-op. Check websites. The CDC one is kind of the one that we're following. So first thing I want to say is make sure that your work area is clean, whether it's an office, your phone, any of your paperwork. Uh, if you're a truck driver, wipe off your doors, your steering wheels, your shifting levers. If you're a sprayer, if you're working at a retail site, work your counter, wash that all off. I mean, I believe some of our retail sites are probably wiping down their areas every half hour. In the morning, when I get here in the morning, Jeff and I go through the whole office. We wipe down the refrigerator, the computers, the light switches, the doors. I think it's a good practice. We all should be doing that. So think about what you can do at your site to keep that cleaning process going. Number two is probably social distancing. Maybe one of the harder things to do, but we need to kind of respect that six to 10 foot distance between people. You know, we've already canceled all of our meetings. Our travel between our locations has been cut down to the bare minimum. We don't have drivers coming into the office if we can somewhat avoid that. You know, some things we've done at locations to make distances a little further. At our corporate office in the front window, we put a table in front of it. Just keeps that customer another four feet away. You know, what can you guys do at your locations to help that too? You know, do our, our drivers or do our mechanics need to come into the office? Do our office people need to go in the shops? Maybe not. You know, but each operation is different. I understand that. So just think about what you can do to help that social distancing. You know, try to, we're trying to eliminate, limit customer traffic to our sites also. You know, emails, telephone calls, text messages. Let's, let's all do them if we can. Uh, the third thing, obvious, the obvious one, if you're sick with a fever, please stay home. Follow the guidelines. If you have any questions, read the CDC information. One uh, new restriction we're kind of starting as of today is if you're coming through an airport, um, you are not able to report to work for a seven day period. Um, most companies that I've talked to, most co-ops are going to that. That may come more restrictive in the future, but take a look at the newsletter letter today and we'll get you that information. But if you're coming through an airport, please don't come to work for at least seven days and then make sure you're not sick. Next piece is um, getting some questions on some of the new legislation that has been passed by Congress that's going to come to affect our company. Lots of information out there. There'll be sick days that if you're affected by the COVID-19 virus that will have to pay 100% of your wage for a certain period of time. There's family leave days available for an extended period of time that'll cover two thirds of your pay. If you need to take care of kids or a family member, that's coming. Uh, the Congress passed a $2 trillion stimulus package last night that's going to aim at getting cash in everybody's hands. You know, we don't have any detail at the co-op any more than you're seeing on the nightly news as of right now. All these packages that get passed on a federal level end up going to rulemaking, and I'm assuming we won't hear anything on details probably for a week. I believe these are like 
800, 900 page documents that the government needs to kind of tell us how we need to operate. So as soon as we know, trust me, we'll let you know. Um, if you have questions, call myself, call HR, talk, talk to your supervisor first. They maybe have the answer, but we'll try to get that information to you. So lastly, currently, I believe we have no coronavirus at any of our employees here at the co-op. That's great. But we all need to do our part to make sure that we keep it that way. You know, our busy season's coming at the time of the year when our customers are counting on us. We need to be there for them. So, you know, I appeal to you, do what you can to prevent that from coming both at your home and here at work. And we'll all be fine in the end. And we'll say we live through the great coronavirus period. Thank you. And that's all I have for you today.